Gemma Peanut and I'm a professional lifestyle and wedding photographer. So Canon have entered the full frame mirrorless space with the Canon EOS R. Now the big question on everyone's mind is how does it stack up against the Canon 5D Mark IV? Now we know a lot about the 5D Mark IV since its launch back in 2016. I've been using one of these since it came out and I absolutely love it. So I am going to focus on the upgrades in the EOS R and highlight the differences to help you determine which camera you'd like to invest in for your photography needs. First up, let's look at the physical differences of the camera bodies. As you can see, the EOS R is much slimmer and more compact than the 5D Mark IV. The bigger size of the 5D Mark IV isn't necessarily a total drawback. It feels more solid in my hands and is definitely more rugged and robust. Plus, it has a dual memory card slot for both an SD and a CF card. As a wedding photographer, it's so important to me to be able to back up to two cards as I shoot. And if we look at the back of the cameras, straight away you can see a more streamlined look with fewer buttons on the EOS R. Now when I first played around with the EOS R, I will admit that straight away I felt huge resistance to the changes of the layout of the buttons. Like most people, I'm not a fan of change, but I knew that if you gave me a day with the camera, then I'd be able to get on top of these changes and form new camera using habits. But let me tell you something. It only took me less than an hour to become familiar and totally comfortable with the new layout. Just like every time Apple releases a new iPhone with big changes, everything always ends up being much more intuitive than we anticipate. And I can honestly say the same about the EOS R. The EOS R has a very angle LCD screen. That is something that I wish the 5D Mark IV had, especially as a wedding photographer where I shoot a lot of details at a bird's eye view angle. This LCD screen and the touch shutter release certainly helps me achieve the shots I want while maintaining a posture that doesn't hurt my back. Both the 5D Mark IV and the EOS R have a live view functionality where the screen will give you a visual representation of the exposure as you're adjusting it. Now this is a feature that I love and I use all the time, but what the EOS R has that the 5D Mark IV does not is the electronic viewfinder. This is one of my favorite new features on the EOS R. So this means that you can now get that visual representation of exposure through the viewfinder. Now I find this to be such a game changer for me, especially if you're shooting in a fast paced environment, capturing moments like the walk down the aisle, the first kiss, and all those candid moments that just can't be recreated. And the visual cues from the electronic viewfinder allows me to keep my exposure in check with every click of the button and reduce the risk of missing these special moments. But I do want to note that the electronic viewfinder does mean that the battery life on the EOS R is shorter than the 5D Mark IV. So if a longer battery life is important to you, the 5D Mark IV comes out on top. This is another kick-ass feature developed by Canon. Now it's hard for me to demonstrate this because what I see is in the viewfinder, but essentially I can look through the viewfinder and use my thumb to touch and drag the back of the LCD screen and select my focus. This is a revolutionary way of locking focus and shooting. Again, I must admit that I resisted this approach at first, but like anything, after a while I got the hang of it and now I am totally hooked on this fully immersive way of shooting. But I know this might not be for everyone. And if it's not for you, the good news is you can just opt out. And actually, on the EOS R, you can enable and disable a lot of the features and completely tailor this camera to exactly how you like it. And Canon have gotten even more innovative by adding this groundbreaking, customizable control ring on all the new RF lenses. Now, when I first heard about this, I thought it was a little bit gimmicky, but now that I've played around with it, honestly, I think it is brilliant. You can literally go from 100 ISO to 40,000 ISO with a single twist of the ring rather than scrolling through the dial over and over. Now, in case it wasn't obvious already, I am all about efficiency and speed when it comes to my style of photography. So the speed of this feature is a big win in my books. 
Now, this ring here can be customized to be set to aperture, shutter speed, or even exposure compensation. The new RF lenses are really fantastic. They're sharper and overall produce better image quality than EF lenses. But before you freak out and think that you've got to start over with a whole new collection of lenses, let's talk about compatibility. Canon have created this lens mount adapter here so that you can use all your EF lenses on the EOS R. Now here's where things get really cool. If you fall in love with the control ring feature on the RF lenses the way I have, Canon have added this feature to the adapter. So even if I use my EF collection of lenses, I can still adjust my ISO exposure or shutter speed with a simple twist of this ring. So after all this, how do we choose? Well, for me personally, they are both fantastic cameras and are very complementary of each other. I would happily welcome the EOS R into my photography kit to work alongside my 5D Mark IV. But if you wanted to work with one of these cameras exclusively, it is a tough call. So why don't we do a quick run through of the pros of each of these cameras. The 5D Mark IV has dual memory card slots, a longer battery life, and a more rugged and robust body. The EOS R has a more compact body, better image quality lenses, more customization on both the body and the lenses, and the electronic viewfinder. There's no denying that the 5D Mark IV is a workhorse. It's the best of the DSLRs. It's tried and tested, and it's relied on by countless professionals. But the EOS R is without a doubt the future of the mirrorless movement, and I'm really excited to see where Canon will take things.